welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anabe, and today's video is going to be a fall shoe haul. So, like Steve Madden is like very notorious for like duping a lot of like high-end luxury products. I'm so excited for this video because I found a lot of good luxury dupes. And of course they're at the fraction of a cost and I'm very excited for these because it is fall and I needed some fall shoes to like revamp my wardrobe. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. So I ordered multiple orders of Steve Madden shoes. I know, I know it's probably exhausting seeing like Steve Madden hauls but I'm so obsessed. All of these shopping hauls are funded by me. The first box that I have here, I'm so excited to unbox with y'all. I actually haven't seen these yet. I've only seen them online. These are the Steve Madden Black Betty boots. And I needed some new combat boots. These are so hot. I got these in a size 9 because I believe Steve Madden runs like half a size small. Don't these look like Doc Martin dupes? Like the only way that you can tell that these are not Doc Martens is because it doesn't have the iconic yellow trademark stitching. These literally look like some Docs. These are really sexy. Like I'm so excited to have these boots and to be using them in my outfits because I do not have any combat boots. Like all my boots from last fall are torn up. I wore them to filth. There was holes in the soles. I had to replace them. So I went ahead and got these. I love that they're chunky and kind of somewhat platform-ish like docks. But um, I don't know like the material-wise. Like this is a leather of course. But I don't know like exactly how it feels in comparison to docks. Because I've never actually owned a pair. I know, I know. You can't be very edgy and goth without a pair of docks. So um, yeah. I'm not a poser anymore, but I finally got some boots and I'm so excited to try these on. The next shoe that I want to showcase I don't have because I didn't purchase yet. And I feel like these are kind of summer shoes as the Echo Black from Steve Madden. They're $89.95. In comparison to the Foam Rubber Sandals by Prada, those retail for $850. So these literally look identical minus the um, Prada symbol in the front and I think I would love to buy these. They're literally like a tenth of the price of those Prada shoes. I might buy them soon if they do go on sale. I just don't really see myself wearing an exposed sandal now that the weather is getting cooler where I live. So I'm so excited to show that one with you. I've been wanting those Prada sandals for the longest time but I could not. I could not get myself to purchase them. I know I love a lot of luxury stuff, but $800 for sandals, it kind of just, it still kind of hurts right here when I spend money. So I just, I couldn't justify $800 right now, maybe in the future or maybe for a holiday or a present for me for my birthday, but I just, $800, no. Next pair of shoes, I'm so excited to show you. I actually featured them in my last video tagged up here. I finally bought me the Varia Black sandals. I'm so excited. Here are the Varia Black um, wedges, sandals, whatever you want to call them. They're super cute. If you watched my last video, you know that these Varia Black shoes from Steve Madden are a dupe for the Versace tri-platform sandals. And this is actually on sale right now for really freaking cheap. They're usually like 125 or something like that. But right now, they're on sale for 50% off. So you need to go run and get these. These are so freaking cute. The only difference between these sandals versus the Versace tri-platform sandals is that obviously it's the price. The price is $1,575 for Versace and then these are on sale for around 50% off which is I think around $60 to $55 right now. If you love platform heels and wedges I definitely recommend you go and run and get these right now. The next shoes that I want to mention I didn't purchase because I didn't know they were available yet. I know Steve Madden's always releasing these shoes and it's so hard to keep up with all his launches and 
what's going to be discontinued and everything. So I went online the other day just to shop in the app and too because I'm a shoe junkie. But I saw these Rider Black leather platform tennis shoes. And when I saw these, I was so excited because I swear to God, I it's like I've seen these shoes before. I don't know where I've seen them. And I was like, they're very popular. It has a very popular design that I've been seeing all over these cute like model pages. And they're very chunky. They're very gothic. They only come in the shade black for right now, but I have a feeling he's going to release other colors later. These Rider Black shoes retail for $129.95. And they're actually a dupe for New Rock shoes. Like I've never heard of New Rock. I had been seeing them everywhere. I've been seeing these cute models wearing them. It's very edgy, very grungy, high fashion. And I've wanted those shoes, but they're a little bit more expensive compared to the Steve Madden shoes. These next shoes I am so stoked for. I'm just so excited for these. These are tennis shoes. They're freaking heavy. And I'm telling you like this box feels like a brick. This gives me flashbacks to like 2013 like emo days. This is a freaking heavy ass tennis shoe and it's very thick. This adds about two to three inches to my height. I love these. These literally make my feet look like a little brat's doll. I don't recommend running in these. Like I said, they're really freaking heavy. I've seen this style before when I was searching through Steve Madden and they were on sale. I had to purchase them. They're currently on sale right now. If you love chunky, gothy, grungy shoes, these are going to be for you. These are a freaking dupe for Naked Wolfie shoes. I love Naked Wolfie. I've been obsessed with them before. Kourtney Kardashian and Megan Fox were wearing them. They were weren't that popular. So Megan Fox and Kourtney Kardashian were wearing Naked Wolfie out and everybody all of a sudden wants Naked Wolfie. That they popularized grunge and emo again. Like it's a trend now. When I saw these I had to buy them because they're dupe for the Virgo Black tennis shoes. I mean not an exact dupe but very very similar and close to style color. Virgo Black is around $300 and then this one's on sale I believe for $64.99 right at the moment that I'm filming this video. Not a bad price. So the only differences that I notice is that right here where this plastic thing is it's black instead of clear and then of course there's no little wolf symbol on the shoe but like look how massive this shoe is guys like it's literally the size of my freaking face i can't justify buying 300 dollars shoes right now so i settled for the dupe to see if i actually like how they feel because they are pretty damn heavy if i love these a lot i might splurge and buy me the naked wolfie shoes so it's always good to have a dupe first to see if you actually fall in love with the style and wear it often. I noticed that Steve Madden duped another one of their popular ankle boots. Naked Wolfie has an ankle boot called Jane Black Leather and it retails for around $350. Very expensive for a boot. Steve Madden came up with the dupe that looks almost identical to Naked Wolfie's and it's called Hustle Black Leather for $169.95. And I think that's a good price for a fashion shoe. Uh, yeah, it's still very expensive, but at least it's not almost $400 for one shoe. There is some differences in the two styles, but the shape is very similar. If you're willing to not have the exact shoe. There is some like I guess cotton stretch where the ankle is but pretty much they look very similar in style. The next shoe that I want to talk about I didn't purchase because I don't know why I didn't purchase but I'm definitely going to purchase them next. Naked Wolfies Jade and Black stretch boot and these retail for 400 freaking dollars. Steve Madden came up with a dupe for it and it's called Hartley Black and they retail for $189.95. I really think that that's a steal. Still very pricey, almost $200. It is a leather boot, very good quality because it's Steve Madden. It is a luxury brand to me. I feel like they are like mid-level luxury. They're not super up there but I consider them like designer. I'm obsessed with these Hartley black boots. I'm actually going to purchase these next 
as soon as I can because I've been itching to buy these. They look so beautiful. I would prefer the other ones, but they look the same to me. It's the same style, the same silhouette, same color, maybe a little bit of a height difference slash angle difference, and then the emblem of the little wolf on the side. The next shoe I got is another tennis shoe. I'm so excited for these. These are, I believe, the Revel Black tennis shoes, and they're very chunky, thick tennis shoe. This is the bottom of it, very slick. Yeah, you can see where I'm coming with this when I say like very slick bottom. I don't know the reason for this. I don't know why they would put that there. I guess to just complete the look. Like they dipped it in plastic and like melted the plastic around it. I don't know how they manufactured this shoe, but yeah, this isn't very safe. But nonetheless, this is a very hot tennis shoe. I've actually worn these already and oh my God, I got so many compliments. They made me feel sexy and tall. For some reason, I've been loving platform shoes, just adding a little height to me. I just feel like it helps elongate the legs. And these are very chunky shoes. So once again, it's kind of like that brat doll vibe when it comes to like these chunky high fashion shoes. I don't know if these are necessarily a dupe for anything, but they're $149.95 and they do come in a lot of freaking colors. Like they have pink and white, black and purple, black and green, black on black. They have this pretty lavender and purple shade that I want to purchase for my friend because purple is her color. These are very fun. They elevate the look. I wore this with some tights and a half crop hoodie with a tank top and then a messy bun and my eyeshadow just blown out and I looked absolutely amazing. Funny story with these shoes. I wore these to my sister and I was literally about to head out and as I was walking my ankle literally goes 90 degrees like that and where I was so tired my ankle was limp my ankle just let it happen and didn't fight it and surprisingly enough where I was like so tired and <laughs> relaxed and I didn't fight the ankle turn my ankle didn't even get sprained so be careful like chunky shoes like these are definitely like an ankle twister slash dangerous <laughs> moment you don't want to run in these shoes. These shoes, these tennis shoes are strictly for looking like a baddie and you do not want to run in these shoes. So if you have to run in these shoes, you bitch, you better take off those shoes because you're going to ruin your feet and your ankles. For some reason, this bottom right here kind of squeaks like Spongebob shoes. You know, like that episode, I know I'm so lame, the episode where he has like tall black boots and they're just squeaking everywhere. So I went to this place and yeah, they were squeaking everywhere. It was very embarrassing, but I got over it because I mean, these shoes are <laughs> such a statement. They're so hot. The next shoes that I want to talk about, I did not purchase. I know, but I have to show these because they're so sexy. These next shoes that I'm going to mention are the Skyrise Black Patton by Steve Madden. These are $129.95 and they are a dupe. These are almost a carbon copy of the Valentino Garavan tango platform pumps they have them in black and white and all these other colors and so does steve madden the only difference that this shoe has is that it doesn't have the little v for valentino on the steve madden one it's just a plain pump the valentino ones retail for 1150 dollars that is very expensive they're very sexy though i'm not gonna lie i wanted those ever since i saw them but the Steve Madden ones are, of course, like one-tenth of the price. It's like $129. So later on, I'm going to pick me up some of these bad boys because they're super sexy. They're very Dom Mommy shoes. Very fashionable. Definitely recommend you pick this up if you're into high heels. Next Steve Madden shoes that I want to show are the Cartina Black Leather Shoes. These retail for $199.95. These are a literal dupe of the Prada Monolith Leather and Nylon Fabric Boots. Prada retails for $1,690. And like I said, those Cortina black leather boots retail for $199.95. What the heck? They literally look the same. If you like the style and don't really care that the brand isn't on the boot, I highly recommend you get these. I'm actually going to buy these next. I covet those boots so freaking bad. But at the same time, I'm not going to spend an arm and a leg. I'd rather buy the dupes until I can afford the other ones later. So the last pair that I want to show you is huge. This is a massive box. 
I'm so excited for these. I can't wait to wear these. I need to go somewhere to wear these. These sexy shoes are called the Harriet Black Shoe. This is your plain extra long combat boot. I've actually tried these on already because I couldn't help myself. They were so sexy and I had to put them on immediately. I love the way it hugs my calf. I have medium skinny legs and I felt like it was just awesome and they do stretch a little bit. I like the zipper here. I don't have to tie it all the way up so these are very very gothy, edgy, and sexy. I just love the way leather smells. It's just very um, nostalgic for me. Yeah this is the last um, shoe of my haul and I'm very excited to share my fall finds with you. If you like any of these boots that I mentioned they will be linked down below, of course. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button right down below. And go ahead and follow me on my other socials. I am more active on TikTok and on Instagram if you're interested in seeing what I'm up to. I want to slowly transition to lifestyle slash makeup content again. I am going to try to figure out how to do that soon. Thank y'all guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!